Ladies and gentlemen, since we last met Dawn French on this programme, yes. uh, married. Yes. Ding right. dong. Oh, yeah. oh, very nice. We just had the first wedding anniversary, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I just had the first wedding oh, well, anniversary a couple of weeks ago. Thank you. And the proposal, was that a down-on-one-knee proposal? Uh, no, it was actually in a gondola in Venice. I know that sounds cliché. No, 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 no. Go with, you, with those moments, go with the clichés. Yeah. Yeah. You want well, what I would say is that what he did do was that he engaged the gondolier in a big conversation about the sewage system of Venice. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, hmm. We paid quite a lot of money for this. I didn't know that that's what was going to come. I quite a lot of money, 40 minutes in, we're still talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you look at me now? Look at me, available for kissing. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and suddenly he said it, and I thought, huh, what? We were just, we were just in the sewage system, and now this? Um, but, yeah, yeah, so it was in a gondola. Because, Bear, now, when you proposed to your wife, had you planned that proposal? Um, vaguely. I mean, I, we got, I proposed to Shara skinny dipping off a beach in Spain, but it was a freezing cold Monday morning in winter in Spain, and, and we'd been skinny dipping, and I came out and I thought, this is it. And for a man, it's a, that's the moment, isn't it? I mean, girls get nervous at the wedding, but for men, the, the big thing is actually when you propose. Yeah. From then on, you're done. Do you know what I mean? The process, that's the scary <laughs> bit. Wow. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Bit too much honesty yeah. there, Bear. Are... <laughs> really? Really? So really? not done, <laughs> So not done. Done emotionally. This is a big thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so I was pretty nervous. And so I was kneeling on the beach. So I came out of the waves. Big old Atlantic roller behind. I thought, this is it. Ring in hand. I thought... Ah, ah. And then a huge wave went... <laughs> <laughs> and just took me like, like tumbleweed out of the beach. And I thought, you know... Pulling sand out of Did seaweed out of ring? everywhere. Yeah, I know. I'm just so thinking like, about yeah, the ring. Yeah, how and, and gave it a second go and got it the second time. I think by this stage, Charles was saying, What are you doing? Why do you yeah. keep kneeling? So you were in the naked side? on the beach, freezing. Freezing. I had to right. give a sure pre stretch. Like, uh... to just... <laughs> <laughs> best, best foot forward and all of that, Greg. <laughs> Maybe she had a similar experience to me with the, you know, the worm. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was winter. It's very cold. Of course, <laughs> you're a brave lady. I'd be like, you go, honey. I'll be here with my blanket. <laughs> on. I think she, by the end, basically felt sorry for me. But the, the question that that story begs, I feel, is where was the ring? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I had it like, in my hand. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Even yeah. while you were two, you had it the whole time while you were swimming. Uh, prepared. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean? What are you getting at? <laughs> you really love me to say that I had it secreted between my butt cheeks. Well, I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Is that where it was? Yes. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, not the butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, dear. How romantic. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Will, will you marry me? <laughs> I'm quite upset. Sorry, I'm kind so of spoiling sorry. Kind of romantic. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's suddenly become uh, no. uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing so hard when she's coming out. Kirsten's a bit shocked. You're shocked, Kirsten. Well, it's very different in America. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it, though?